More often than not, especially in 2020, sports reflect our reality. According to the last U.S. Census, the population of Vermont is 94.2% white, a statistic that is reflected in local sports leadership, making the voices of people of color that much more important. In the entire state of Vermont, there are only two black high school athletic directors. There's a lack of diversity uh, within our group, um, but also you see it in our, in our faculty as well, too, um, and across the state of Vermont. How the population is, you know, we alluded to it earlier, Vermont is, you know, 95%, you know, white. And, you know, so you don't get those opportunities to, um, you know, be a part of a diverse culture. Mike Jabour now works at his alma mater a former South Burlington High School football standout. He used to keep his feelings of oppression from racism pushed under his pads. Mike Jabour on a 90-yard touchdown run. I try to just block it out as much as I can um, and just say, oh, they're not judging me on the color of my skin or they're not making decisions based on the color of my, my skin or anything like that. But I know it was probably there, but I tried my, my best to kind of shield myself from that and kind of be oblivious to it a little bit. Karan Pinckney, on the other hand, is from the Bronx. He did not call Vermont home until he put on the purple and gold for St. Michael's basketball. When I had my freshman orientation, I actually lied to a lot of people and told them I did not play basketball when they asked because I wanted them to accept me for who I was as a person and not, you know, necessarily you know, go right to that stereotype. Today, the conversation on racial injustice is on the forefront of most American minds. Their position as black role models is being spotlighted now more than ever. Particularly for me and Mike, it's really given us an opportunity to have our voices be heard. You know, as the only two black athletic directors, I think it has opened up a conversation and opened up a dialogue that a lot of people may not have necessarily been open to before. To me, it doesn't really matter what the color of your skin is. You know, obviously the students of color do gravitate towards me and I try to be a role model to them and say that, yeah, I'm a person of color, I'm a black man, and this could be you. Mike and Karan are doing everything they can, but they are just two people. We need more leaders for these students that look like them. You know, we need to work together no matter what race is a part of the conversation to uh, develop a society where we're anti-racist. Mike and Karan will go on to tell me that a pressing issue in the Vermont High School athletic community is the lack of black head coaches, and that is the responsibility of all athletic directors to find a solution to this problem. For the Sports Desk, I'm Marshall Kramsky.